my last name starts with a Q. Huh? I mean, a G. <laughs> can you get Nick on every episode so he can blow his nose? <laughs> OJ the Juice Man stole it from you. Oh, God. Someone's knocking on my door. Yeah, I'm going to be I'm drunk not, for this one. Not going to lie. Welcome back to the cartoon drinking game. It is the greatest host of all time, your bud Tevin. And we got 5,000 likes, so I had to bring back my friend Nick is not green. Yes, you did it. And our new friend, breast milk connoisseur Jarvis. Oh. Uh, okay, no comment. Also, owner of 5,000 new YouTube accounts. There you go. And we have one of my favorite shows of all time, regular show. Here are the rules. Anytime Mordecai and Rigby say, oh, or chant, oh. anytime Benson gets angry, anytime Pops says, good show, anytime Muscle Man says, my mom, anytime a fight breaks out, anytime something supernatural happens, anytime Mordecai simps, any IRL references, that's it. First episode that we're going to watch is called Set Up the Chairs. But first, an ad. By Nano Leaf. You know those big bright lights that every streamer and content creator has that has those sick designs and are easy to set up? Yeah, those are Nano Leafs. Nano Leaf is the industry standard in lighting, not only in content creation, but anywhere that you want to add a little flair to your space. Need lighting for your home theater? Nano Leaf. Setting the mood before bedtime? Nano Leaf. Want to make your cat freak out and stare at your wall for way too long? You get it. And these bad boys come in every shape ever created. Lines, triangles, squares, hexagons, shapes I've never even heard of. And you can use these shapes to make even more shapes. My personal favorites are lines. Because just look at my room. Can you see that hot pink lightning bolt? I built that. Not to mention that it's Bluetooth connectivity allows you to control the colors and the brightness. So you have complete freedom with just an app on your phone. And installation is so easy, you could probably put this stuff together by accident. So head over to the link in the description or go to nanoleaf.me and get yourself some lighting today. A major thank you to Nanoleaf for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the boys. Quickly, before we start, as always, thank you to Gamersups for supporting us. Find out why we love Gamersups by watching the video in the description. We've got this birthday party today, so lots to do. Lots to do. Mordecai and Rigby, you set up the chairs. Oh. Does that count as an O? No. And then next time you'll get someone else to set up the chairs? Fine. Oh! That is what that is. They're setting this up early. It happens, what, a minute into the first episode? Is that your drink? <laughs> Editor, leave in all of Nick's no, sniffles. No, please. Commenters, you know what to do. There's going to be some sort of like weird person that's like, can you get Nick on every episode so he can blow his nose? <laughs> yeah, they're like, I have nose blowia, and I like love it Like when somebody blows their nose. Sounds like a country. I'm from nose blowia, and I have nose blowia. Disgusting. Benson's going to drop his balls when he sees how good we set up these chairs. <laughs> <laughs> One. <laughs> Imagine this being the hardest job for you. I hate Rigby. I almost made it a rule for just every time Rigby's stupid, but we would just have died. We would have just 100% died automatically. Happy birthday, Jeff. Just drive the bus, you Next time it could be us picking up the, the special, special entertainment. entertainment. What are they picking up for the special entertainment in this kid's show? Yeah, I'm gonna have to guess they're picking up a motel manager. Everybody uh, loves to bring a motel manager. They're very entertaining. They know all about motels and managing them. I'm gonna say a naked stripper. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I like it. Let's see what's behind motel door number one. It's actually 6B. Wow, fake fan. Yeah, it's a, it's a horse. It's a drunk horse and a clown. Interesting. <laughs> That's it. You know who likes special entertainment like that? My mom! Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is like the reverse Yo Mama joke or something. Yeah. Like you're just insulting your own mom. High five ghost kind of looks like it's got a spork on its head. Like What's the difference was... between a spork and a fork in cartoons? Like how could you oh. differentiate no, a spork no, and a regular? I think that given the fidelity of this art style, there's no way to tell. Their hands have three fingers and a thumb. Yeah, so you're I'll telling me that there's a possibility that this world is populated by people who have hands that are just sporks and forks. I would say that, yeah. Imagine a world where like everybody kind of has different numbers of fingers and then you just don't talk about it. I'm kind of down like, with man, that. I, Nick has like an extra finger and it kind of makes me feel insecure. Yeah, probably. not on my hand, but it's somewhere. Maybe it puts uh -oh. the term pull my finger in a whole new context. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'm going to Dang. ignore you. <laughs> I'm going to ignore you. Click the play button right now. That's all the chairs, dude. They're supposed to be 50. Let's find your stupid chairs. It's locked. <laughs> Let's do something else. Yeah. 
ほう、向かってくるのか。逃げずにこのディオに近づいてくるのか。近づかなきゃ、てめえをぶちのめせないんだな。ほうほう。Didn't really need that much force, to be honest. There you go. That counts. Nick, when you were in fifth grade, did you and your friends do the O thing? I feel like I probably did that when I was in middle school and stuff, when I was full fledged watching the show. I did the synchronize our watches. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's like a classic. I think it's from the very first pilot, and they do this little song where they go. Oh, I remember that. Not a cartoon, but Troy and Abed have the like secret handshake、oh, that they、yeah. do in community. I did that with one of my friends in college as well. I wasn't even that young, but it was still cool. Do either of you know about famed rapper OJ the Juice Man? I'm not like a scholar of his, but <laughs> I, I do know of him. He is known for having a very high pitched voice and going. I <laughs> so that was our thing is we would go in the hallways and to locate one another, we would go, hey, and the other one would go, okay. <laughs> and that's how we found each other in like school. A, it's like a Marco Polo of sort. And OJ the Juice Man stole it from you. Is that correct? Yeah. To my knowledge, he heard us use it and he just took it and trademarked it. And I feel like it's kind of disrespectful, to be honest. Kind of cringe. Come on the show, OJ the Juice Man, so you can atone for your sins. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Every O, all the big O's. Do you remember the show Big O? Yeah, the anime. Had a banger intro. I was thinking of Omarion personally. Omarion will show up to your house and beat you up. <laughs> That's the big O. <laughs> I actually would watch an anime where a guy says Big O and instead of summoning a giant mech, he summons a big o l d Marion. <laughs> he just starts break dancing the icebox. And he puts you in the little saint the dancing little saint, movie. The little saint, do it for little saint. Oh my、yeah. god. That's a running <laughs> joke on this show, too, that we say do it for、really? little saint, right? Oh, that's amazing. Don't connect the red wire to the blue wire. Hot wire in the arcade machine. Rigby's just a little agent of chaos. That is the supernatural. Element. Oh. Yeah, he is all off of those OSHA violations. This is not OSHA compliant. I do not condone the actions of this show. I was going to say that's word to the other big O. <laughs> OSHA. <laughs> you must be OSHA safe and compliant on this show at all times. I hope you guys are wearing a hard hat, goggles, and gloves. Oh, you bet your sweet ass I'm protected right now. That's、yeah. what I like to hear. Dude, what just happened? I don't know. What? Oh man, we're so dead. Maybe no one will notice. No one will notice the large、oh, 8 bit、right. Satan. Destroyer of worlds! Good show! He said good、oh, wait, show. Did, we miss it? did he say good show? Okay, I'll take my little drink. Mordecai's really flat delivery is so interesting. He's got such a specific voice to everything he says. He's just witnessed this evil demon come out of a video game and it's leveling the town. And he's like, oh no. That is the creator. That's his voice, JG Quintel. That's a great name, by the way. JG Quintel, JGQ. What a fucking collection of letters. That's a fucking triple word score and a half. I was gonna say, no one uses、yeah. any of those letters. Well, but Jarvis is. His name starts with a J, and my last name starts with a Q. Huh? I mean a G. <laughs> 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 no, I, I get it. It's queen. It's not green. It's queen. Nick is not queen. Man, there you Dude, go. Dude, your alter ego should be like Nick is Yas Queen. <laughs> you just hit the slay button. You have like a Sailor Moon magical girl transformation sequence, and it's you hitting the slay button. Oh, that'd be fire. Do the Yasification of my face. <laughs> I'm gonna open up Face App right now and do that one. <laughs> I know. Nick does everything but watch the show. He lays on the floor. He hangs out with his cat. <laughs> he eats. Oh my god, this guy. I never got around to mentioning that. Oh my gosh, I look. Beautiful. <laughs> This is how far you get without professionalism when Curtis Connor builds your entire career. <laughs> <laughs> Most of me harder. Oh my god. Glad they didn't murder the kids on this show. Would have been a real downer. I'm sure that they tried, and the network was like, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, the pilot. They're like, no. Yeah. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> That technically counts as a fight as well. It was just a very quick one without much fighting back. It was one-sided. That kid to the right of the kid with the crown looks just abhorrent. Have you guys ever seen Misadventures of Flapjack? That's、oh, my favorite show of all time. Love that show so much. But the old man clip. I'm 38 years old. 
Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. This kid in the middle. He looks like Mr. Potato Head. One, two, three. This would be another supernatural event. They Voltroned themselves. Yeah, yeah this is the second Voltron the reference we've gotten. Yeah, I'm gonna be drunk for this one. Not. not gonna lie. This is just like when I eat too many hamburgers. Wait, I'm sorry. You're telling me that if you eat too many hamburgers, they shoot out of your arms and hit other people? I said what I said. We I'm can't go out to eat, Jarvis. I'm banned from every McDonald's. <laughs> That's an in real life reference. Yeah, because that's the Pac-Man cherries. I know pop culture. And everybody knows the lemonade stand hat hamburger guy, too. He's a popular character that's well known from our childhood. I thought this yeah. was just Omarion again. Omarion rebrands to the fucking hamburger lemonade stand hat guy. <laughs> that sentence will never be uttered again. You! Whoa, hey Benson, before you freak out, we totally set up those chairs. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this party's hot! So we're cool, right? You idiots! He is angry. Oh, is him getting angry one of the rules? That's one of the oh, rules. Yeah. Ah, this guy, this gumball guy. He's not the amazing world of gumball, right? That's a different thing. No, that's the same guy. Yeah, same guy. When was the last time you ate a gumball out of a gumball machine? Because that used to be a thing, and now that kind of seems unsanitary. I'm glad you said unsanitary, because there's this restaurant in my hometown, Taco Tico. Shout out to the Tico boys. The last time that I can remember having a gumball, the gumball machine had broken 10 balls of gum had just flooded out of the little metal hatch and it hit the ground. Oh no. You can't imagine what Taco Tico looks like. I actually am looking at photos of it on Yelp right now. It's like a generic brand Taco Bell. It looks so generic. It looks like it was made in Minecraft. Yeah, the outside of it just looks so funny. Well, first of all, I'm not, I'm not here for the slander. Tico boys, you know what to do. His name's Jarvis. Oh God, someone's knocking on my door. That's the last time I entrust you with something important, like the chairs. Oh! Not setting up the chairs next time. 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 I'm back to being clogged. My nose is clogged. I don't know if you can tell by my voice. We can tell. We can tell. It sounds like somebody put a Taco Tico taco burger in your nostrils. I was about to say the same thing. I said, it sounds like you put your chocolate almonds up your nose. That sounds like a euphemism for something. Yo, yo, let's not talk about my chocolate almonds. My mom listens to this show. Also, just this image of Taco Tico. This looks so accidental. What is this? Answer for your crimes, Taco Tico. No, that, that's it. You don't know the culture, so you are not about to sit here and disrespect Look, I'm, it. I'm, I'm noticing a theme here where at Taco Tico, you just eat things off the ground. You eat things off the surfaces like gumballs that you're not supposed that's to. That's the point. You stick your enchilada on the wall and you get to slurp it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sticking your enchilada on the wall sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Oh, I spilled my drink. Nicholas. <laughs> oh, God. The next episode is Slam Dunk. Regular show. The drinking game. Repose here at the halfway point of the video, and as always, we like to immortalize our lovely Patreon supporters for helping us fund these videos. We've been getting a lot of yellow dollar signs, so your support sincerely helps us a lot. If you want to help support us and get access to a library of extended cut videos, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, back to the video. Regular show, The Drinking Game. Nothing could go crazy in this episode of basketball. The show basketball, yeah. It's just a regular show and they just play basketball and the episode ends. Air at Lakers game. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff to get. Oh, hell yeah. It's another 8-bit episode. Pause it. Pause it. Hey, Mordecai. It's Margaret. Margaret just called. Why? She wants me to make her a website. What about our game of Hoop Jams 5000? Mordecai? Ah, that's a drink because Mordecai is simping for Margaret. Ooh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, Nick, what are you doing after this? Oh, oh he's, he's trying to take little... you out. He saw how cute you looked <laughs> yeah. on Twitter. Like, what are you doing after <laughs> this? <laughs> Yo, what are you doing later? I was thinking we could go to Taco Tico. <laughs> get ourselves some floor taco burgers. Come on, though. Uh, they're like, how do you want it? Over easy, over hard, on the floor? <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Why does this house have only pictures of pops on it? That is weird. Wait, that's a great point. <laughs> that's another one. You can't even do it right now anyway. Muscle Man has the computer for the whole day. What are you doing? <sighs> How'd he get up there so fast? Just... What year does this show take place in? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask because the old clock. <laughs> All of their technology is so old. Old video game console, old TV, old computer, old clock. Get lost. I got to watch my downloads. <laughs> <laughs>
Yo, that oh, was a pretty this. sick shot, actually, from High Five Ghost. Did I not make myself clear? How about we play you a game of basketball for it? Also, that's kind of, that, having three hands is kind of cheating. I'm not gonna lie. Did you know that we only need one more point to win? What? Offensive foul. You know, I don't, I don't like any of this. This isn't good basketball. You know who else likes to score so she can get computer rights for a week? My mom! There you go. <laughs> Would you let your mom score for computer rights for a week? Whoa. That has a different kind of- sorry, I- in basketball. I don't know how to- I don't know how to answer this question. Uh, uh, Nick, I almost said Dipper, which is in my dog. <laughs> you think I'm a dog? Okay, well, I have nothing to say then. Hey, Mordecai! Thanks for helping me with the website. No problem. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what? I did not remember that. <laughs> also, the music cue. Hey, man. Sometimes you have to subject your audience to a little bit of bird ass. You know what I mean? Why is bird ass such a weird phrase? Hold on. I'm going to search Google. I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. You're right. Incognito. Okay. Okay. We're searching bird ass. I'll let you know what happens. Oh, interesting. There's a song featuring Young Vaughn by a guy named Dason Cook called Bird Ass N-Word. <laughs> And I wasn't expecting that at all. I wasn't expecting that at all. You could buy it for 99 cents. That concludes my search. Oh, my stomach hurt. It's, it's also a drink, by the way. All right, I'm just going to drink for bird ass. I know it's not a rule, but... <laughs> I'll, drink, I'll drink twice. I'll drink for bird ass. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fuck it. I'm going to have to listen to that song later. Dude, does anybody miss a shot? No, they can't miss. This motherfucker don't miss. This can't be happening. Basketball sucks. What? Why did that even happen? Yeah. Base drum. Okay, so this is supernatural. I don't know. This happens to me all the time. <laughs> okay. How much have you been drinking? You might be cut off. This might be your limit. <laughs> I think I see it in my room right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bass boosted as fuck. <laughs> I'd rather be b-ball number one shooting hoops. You know, you only think it sucks because you don't know the fundamentals. It does look like Will Chamberlain, though. I'm low-key. Yeah, we're taking a drink for that. Little... This is a Will Chamberlain reference. Yeah, you know Nick, right? You know about Will Chamberlain? Yeah, I have the same birthday as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, so I know a bit about basketball. Oh, there you go. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar are also the same age, famously. Oh, really? So, yeah, me and famous airplane actor. That's what you know him from? Yeah, he also yeah. fought Bruce Lee. I'm the best basketball coach that ever lived. I can train anybody. If you want to waste your time, that's your business. He literally came out of the moon and is a basketball. I would believe anything he said about basketball at that point. I'm going to teach you to play circles around that little. I've never seen somebody this bad in my life. Did you guys seriously have to be the worst basketball players of all time? We just need a little more practice. No, you just need to not play basketball. Gatekeeper alert. <laughs> Gatekeep them from basketball. <laughs> Wait, he could have just made them good at basketball this whole time with powers. Oh, wait, that was supernatural. If you could have someone shoot a beam of skill into you, like any skill, what would it be? I mean, maybe it would be like, be able to play piano really good. Like a Yasify beam. <laughs> or maybe like a language too. You're giving great answers. My first thought was to always be able to tell when a banana is gonna have brown spots on it. That's good, but... Wait, when one will have it in the future? I hate that, you know, this is like just a little life hack I use. Okay. All the yellow bananas in a few days are gonna have brown spots on them. And then like, if you wait too many days and they're just gonna be brown entirely. I've so, never like, heard of that. So I don't think that that's yeah, right. I've never seen no, any I, like study on should. that. Just, well, you know, just like look at a banana over a few days and I think you'll you'll get it. Are you not fucking with brown spot banana radar? No. Computer rights for life. <laughs> One game. Well, he just ruined the computer with the liquid. That's like Nick when he spilled his shirt. Hey, take it easy. That's a tough topic. First person to 21 win. But why is your shirt off? Didn't think the O was going to show up in here. Oh, I did not expect that at all. It caught me off guard. Though that's a pretty good dunk. Fives is hurt. Now I get to choose anyone in the. Park. They killed him. I choose that guy. You better give me some of those powers too. What? <laughs> he just switched up on him. 1917 us. Game point. How 
are we losing? Um, maybe because you suck and I hate you. <laughs> this, the person who did this voice must have like hurt themselves doing it. Yeah, they really uh, they earned that paycheck. Oh, snap. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. I spent some time yassifying a banana. I'm sorry. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry. I spent some time yassifying a banana. Oh, Jarvis, come on. That's, this is disturbing. What is actually happening? I've lost the plot. I've lost my mind. Oh, <laughs> they just my God. nuked the fucking playground. Dude, that's a dunk contest winner right there. Oh, no, bro. That guy could really stand to lose some weight. Oh my god. Uh, I'm fucked up. You looked pretty hot out there. Okay. Hot on the trail of finishing your website. What? You fumbled the bag. That was two months ago. Oh, he simped right there by the way. Drink. Oh shit. Have you ever fumbled it right in front right in front of a girl before? Fumbled the literal ball and I <laughs> <laughs> My balls I came out on accident. My chocolate almonds. Yeah. <laughs> Time speeds up in space, bro. But hey, look on the bright side. At least she said you're hot. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. And remember, late at night, make sure you lock your car because the robbers might get in. They might.